Morning guys! So, Jetty, how can we improve the arming and disarming functionality so that we don't kind of accidentally disarm mid-flight? Right, the other day I was flying and um, I was flying my Yak EDF and I took off the model and off I was going and I came to deploy my landing gear and for whatever reason I hit the wrong switch I was maybe two meters off the deck and I disarmed instantly power went and the model was Ugh. I kind of realized what I had kind of messed up with and I immediately re-engaged and got myself going again but it could have been a lot worse but um this got me thinking how can I improve how my arming and disarming functionality works when I'm using a jetty and now truth be told I did a similar thing back on my OpenTX days but I re never really applied myself to do this on a jetty but um I've made it work so I thought I would very quickly show you here by holding up the radio and you can hear what happens and then I will talk you through what I have done so I normally use oh let's get this to the camera the rear switch here for arming and disarming now what I'm doing here essentially is saying, if you, in fact, if you listen to the screen here, when I toggle the switch, you'll hear what happens. Toggle trainer switch to on. So at that point, the radio has instructed me that I need to toggle this switch on the right hand side in order to actually arm the model. And I'll do that now. Armed. It's now told me that I'm armed. Fantastic. Now, the beauty of this setup, if I go back to this button here and I accidentally bump it off. Warning. Toggle trainer switch to disarm. So you see what happened there is essentially I've just been told in order to disarm, I have to toggle that switch. So I've got a double function that goes on. Now, at this point, I will not disarm until I hit that switch. So, oh my God, I've done the wrong thing. Click that back, nothing happened, no harm done. But if I do want to disarm. Warning, toggle trainer okay. switch to disarm. And then I toggle my trainer switch. Disarmed. All done, happy days. So it's kind of a double latching logical switch which helps you achieve this. Um, but um, it's not as easy as you would think to get done and involves quite a few logical switches to achieve this. Now let me just turn my radio off here. There we go, because I don't want that bleeping in the background. And I thought I would talk you through, just visually I've got some screen grabs and we can go through how each of these things work. So, starting on a list of logical switches. And I did say there were quite a few here, but um, the truth is only the first three are used for the functionality of the actual arm and disarm. Logical four and five on the screen are only used to trigger audio prompts. And if you're not interested in the audio prompts and the audio warnings, well, you only need three logical switches. And you can see here, we've got an arm, an is armed and an is disarmed and they have a variety of conditions on them so I guess let's start by looking at what each of these do so logical switch one essentially we are taking a comparison it's a, I don't really know what the right terminology is here but it's got this kind of like double switch position for the condition going on here and essentially we're taking the inputs for the switch of logical two and logical three and as long as you set your system up following the fact that you've got an LIN and you know the X is less than zero percent you've achieved half the problem it's, it's you're on the way so um that's logical switch one logical switch two basically uses the two switches and it kind of triggers an if you are or are not armed condition. It's a multi-position switch and it's essentially saying that I've moved my switch on the left hand side to the rear which is my armed position so I push that back and then when I toggle my trainer switch forward I will create a yes condition which says this one is now valid and you are armed and that obviously triggers logical one to go boom turn on because you are armed logical switch three on the other hand 
basically is an is disarmed condition and it's actually kind of just doing the reverse of logical switch two and what that's doing is basically saying that i've now moved my my left hand switch forwards but i also need to toggle my left hand switch well, sorry my right hand switch forward so if both of those conditions are true we then make logical switch three true the net result of this logical one will engage and disengage it's kind of straightforward really at that point now um obviously this will enable you to get your arming and disarming functionality but you really do want those audio prompts to be done because they kind of flag up and tell you what's going on and what state you're in otherwise you can find yourself in a little bit of a mess and um in this case logical switch four and five are simply checking and you can see from the screen here saying am i in a certain state so is sb active in one direction and logical switch one meaning i am armed so it's kind of basically checking those two states if that makes any sense and likewise logical switch five is doing the inverse of that and um the net result of both of those logical switches is that i can apply in my sounds screen a list of logical conditions which basically say that if logical switch one is active play the armed file if logical one is in the disarmed state chain play the disarmed state etc etc these all become well you can make your own custom files and get it to say whatever the hell you want at this point the main thing is it works and um well I now have the problem is I've got to sit down and um, retrofit all of these onto half a dozen different models and that's going to be time consuming but um, I do think it's worthwhile because when it comes to the jetty you can do most things but um, this is a complicated one really on the jetty it's um, well I say complicated once you worked it out it's not hard but it's a pain in the backside to program all of these onto all your models but um, yeah long and short I think it's a simple effective way to do it i'm hoping that the screenshots i've shown you will give you some sort of guide as to all the different options and maybe you can go through if you're trying to replicate this and pause 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 as you go through the video it will give you a clue what to do hey enjoy have fun guys cheers